Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. This is Minister Paul, a watchman on the wall for my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. It's Saturday. What's the day today, Ben? 14th. It's, uh, thank you. It's November 14th, 2015 at 7.23 a.m. Having trouble with my, uh, my laptop right now, so I'm going to do this on my cell phone. We'll call it a fireside chat. That's the fireplace. There's no fire in it. It's fake. No. <laughs> Why do I do this, my? Turn it on. Well, it's... And then it's true fireside chat. And it'll warm up the house. Are you cold? My toes. Okay. What I meant by fake was it's a uh, gas. To me, it's fake, but... Okay, now we're having fireside chat. All right. Well, we'll talk to you guys later. And you have no. I'm <laughs> no, this is a this is a serious issue, and that's why I think sometimes the Lord will just have me open it up with something lighthearted like that. So I'm gonna go. I'm calling this Groundhog Day, and I know that I know that there's a group of people that will understand the fact that I'm sitting here with my cell phone propped up on. <laughs> <laughs> to make let's staring at my fireplace to make a video because of just because the track record of what the Lord has shown me uh, since 2011 so let's go back to yesterday yesterday I woke up at 3 30 a.m. is that correct my hun yes and she was thrilled right yeah <laughs> she's she, you know, it was cold. She said, are you really getting up at 3.30? But I just, I wasn't sleeping anymore. I wasn't tired. And I came out here and my mind came under the biggest uh, spiritual attack. And uh, time goes by pretty quick. I started seeing a bunch of confirmations of scriptures. And I was working on the sermon for tomorrow. We're going to live stream. And um I can't explain the whole process other than it was a it was a spiritual attack of my faith. But I ref I, I recognized it as such immediately, and um, I, I, when I I do my we have an elliptical now, so when I do my workout, the whole entire time that's when I do my prayer on is on the elliptical. I pray for like thirty minutes. I pray. For every everybody on here, I have a whole list of things I pray for, a list of people I pray for, family, enemies, and and my, I realized I felt like my prayers were being hindered, and um, so I just stopped, like right in the middle of the workout, I stopped and I said, "What is this, Lord?" And uh, and he said, "It's he said it, it's it's spiritual darkness." And the first scripture I just thought of right now is, is spiritual darkness and thrown in high places, Ephesians 6. So, so put on the full armor of God so you can stand in that evil day, having done all the stand. And so I pressed through and, and I'm posting on Facebook. I'm like, you know, let's get on fire. That's the message tomorrow is are you backslidden or lukewarm? Because we're, we're, you know, Christ's not coming back for no lukewarm church or no backsliders. That's the message tomorrow if you want to hear it. So. Long story short was, the more I pressed in, the more I prayed, the harder I prayed, the more doubt went away. And uh, and I realized, man, we are really in the thick of it down here spiritually. And, you know, you got to stay girded up and, and armored up. I mean, literally every morning when you wake up, you got to jump into that armor. You got to wake up in your armor because there's spiritual darkness over this world. And so then I got on my laptop after the workout and after the prayer and I, I felt you know refreshed and renewed and I started noticing there's something wrong in the world spiritually there's things occurring and I saw confirmations and I saw all these threes and 4.0 earthquakes just popping off everywhere on my cell phone app and I, I had posted on Facebook I said you know something's going to happen and then boom this 7.0 comes in a 7.0 in Japan that not too many people are talking about. And so I posted that on my Facebook and I said, there it is. And so, but 
But I, I said, I think there's more to that. There's more coming. And then what happened? Paris. Terrorist attack. Whether it was false flag or not doesn't stop the uh, or change the fact that, you know, it's martial law in Paris right now. The nationwide shutdown being run by the military. And so I'm not going to I'm going to not make the determination here on whether that was a false flag or not. I have my suspicions, but I'm this video is not about that, okay? So so that was yesterday. Flash forward to today, same thing happened. I woke up at 5:30, probably about an hour nor earlier than normal. And it was like Groundhog Day. I started reliving the same thing over again. Same spiritual attack. Same attack against my faith. Same doubts being put in my head. Get on, uh, Begin to pray. Begin to press through. And the Lord said spiritual darkness. I get on my laptop, which is malfunctioning right now still. So that's why I run the cell phone. And... Um, and I realized that there's spiritual darkness that, uh, and I'm thinking, you know what? I, this is my prayer, and this is why I'm making this video. I feel like I'm living Groundhog Day, and if it, and my prayer is, I hope I'm wrong. This is not a thus says the Lord. I'm not giving a prophecy, but you know, this weekend I really feel like there could be another attack. And I believe that the Lord does reveal things before they happen. And because he does, because he loves us and he warns us in advance. I fully believe that and scripture backs it up. And I feel like that's what I'm getting in my gut right now. It has, it, it, it is spiritual darkness is, is, is hitting us. It's hitting the world, not just Paris, France. And I guess my question is, and only God knows the answer to is where next? Is anybody else feeling this, what I'm feeling now, like time being sped up? Is anybody feeling like an impending attack or a uh, or large earthquake? And this is not doom and gloom. I mean, we're sitting here doing fireside chat. It's, it's nothing to do about doom and gloom. It's, it's spiritual awareness of where we're at in end-time Bible prophecy. A lot of people said, oh, you should pray, you should pray, you should pray. Let me close with this. I was 737 when I looked down at the phone. Airplanes are in danger. I'll say that right now. Airplanes are in danger. We, You know, if, if Jesus Christ says, like, you know, on this certain day, these seals are going to open. I'm just going to give you an example here. So, you know, for those who are young in, in, uh, in their prayer walk. And you, because I had this come up yesterday privately. You can pray you can get you can get a thousand people and you could fast for seven days straight water only you could seek the lord and you could pray that you know that jesus don't open those seals or you know this certain thing don't happen but it, it you cannot pray no matter how many people no matter how much your faith is you cannot pray against something that is god's will let me give you another example that just popped in my mind. It, it, everyone is appointed once to die, and then the judgment, the Bible records. So there's a set date for people to perish. If someone's going to perish, you can you can fast and pray. I did this with Gigi, remember, babe? We wrote out, my dog Gigi, we wrote out a prayer. Uh, we said it three times a day, every day. We believed and received by faith that she would live. She was told she had cancer, and she died in my arms anyway. See, so I guess what I'm saying is, if God's will is for something to happen, there isn't any prayer that can stop it. But what we can pray for is protection. What we can pray for is for mercy. We can pray for salvation. And that's what this operation push salvation of souls is, is to reach the final souls. Because the Bible is going to play out no matter how much we pray. Is everybody with me? Amen. It's going to play out. We can't stop it. We can't pray it away. I mean, I'm telling you the truth here. This is the truth channel. Truth is being spoken here. But what we can do is pray for protection. Am I the only one sensing this? Groundhog Day repeat type of thing of devastation at our door. Please let me know in the comments.
and uh, God bless you all. Shalom.